Your health is important, and today we're discussing longevity of your health span. I'm with Dr. Suwana Suwanapong, a leading practitioner at Vital Life Scientific Wellness Centre in Bangkok. They're also in Phuket too. We're at the fabulous The Siam, a Bensley Design Hotel in Bangkok, and you are watching Trends. Dr. Swana, can you introduce us to Vital Life Scientific Wellness Centre? Sure, definitely. Vital Life is, uh, was opened in 2001 as a first in Asia scientific wellness centre. So now we are not like over two decades. We are uh, with, together with our scientific advisors all over the world. We are implementing our longevity protocol. So just last year, we implement the evaluation, the new assessments, and also some of the newest interventions that we can do. We are like a 100% subsidiary company of Bambung Rai International Hospital. So we share lots of resources like our advanced imaging center, genomic centers. So we can also do like a multi-omics assessments as well. And with that, we also share with our 200 interpreters from like more than 10 languages, even at the point I don't remember. So when Vital Life customers, we have more than half uh, expats or a foreign customer flying in. And so they don't have to talk in English. They can just talk, discuss with us in medical terms uh, in their own language. Now you're headquartered in Bangkok, but you've also opened in Phuket as well, haven't you? Or you're about to open in Phuket? About to. Yeah. Maybe by this time, I'm not quite sure because this really, really close, about to open in Phuket. And in Bangkok, we are in like pretty much the same campus with Marina International. But now we are going into Phuket first before the next couple of years of Marina Phuket. You specialize in the heart and cardiovascular health for the extended lifespan. What technologies are you using at Vital Life to help us with an extended lifespan and specifically cardiovascular health? Yeah, as a cardiovascular, um, I'm not like a heart doctor because cardiovascular, it means that I also need to take care of the blood vessels all over the body. And that pretty, pretty sums up like everything in terms of healthcare. The thing that I'm with, I've been doing besides from the routine medical shakeups that we all know about is uh, the, the the one thing is advanced imaging that we can do in Bamurat's uh, facility. So advanced cardiac imaging, MRI, stress tests. And the thing that also has more and more uh, information related to longevity is like the VO2 max. So our cardiopulmonary capacity. And that's pretty much sums up how our heart, our lungs and our muscles extract oxygen. Another thing which is relatively new, even in medical field, is the risk prediction. So we do multiomics. It's a genetics test for a cardiovascular risk, and also metabolomics, which is like metabolites, and proteomics, which is like the blood proteins. Thousands and thousands of these metabolites and proteins can predict our cardiovascular risk in the next like four or five or even 10 years. That's amazing. So you're really at the cutting edge of scientific technology for health, aren't you? Yeah, it pretty much, yes. Like in Vital Life and Bermuda, we are not going to wait until the disease is happening. Like early detection is one thing, and that's pretty important. But by the way, we can predict the risk. So it's going to be better if we can mitigate or lower the risk before it actually forming the disease. Education is really important because uh, if you're a patient, it's quite daunting coming along and also understanding all the scientific approaches. How do you approach the inf information and education of your patients? Yeah, of course, we are not going to dump all the information to our clients or patients. We do work with the multidisciplinary. So as doctors, of course, there's a lot of things that we would need to explain in simple language. We need to spend a lot of time with our clients or patients. Like if you think that it's going to be like five or 10 minutes, if you visit the doctor at Vital Life, no, you need to spare at least like an hour for our first session. 
and that's the commitment that we need to make before we meet because those are the things that is all related to you it's not like a general information right this is all about you and in the in in the lab results or imaging result interpretation, we might need to send you to other doctors or other people in our team as well, like our trainer, our health coaches, and our dietitian, for example. And lots of times, all the nurses need to take care of you as well. So the health coach that I was talking about is really important because maybe you're not going to talk to me like every week or every day, but health coach, as longevity science, you cannot do anything better with just like a magic pill. So you would need somebody to truly understand your lifestyle and know how to adjust that. How's your sleep? How's your exercise? How your stress management? Easy to say, right? But those are the things that you would need to practice every day. So these are the continuing education. So it's not that one hour in vital life with the doctor, but those are the things that you would need to take charge and take the you, you are the one that helped with increasing your own potential in health. Now, you mentioned multiomics. That's new to me. I've not heard of it. It's very, it sounds very scientific. And also, I heard that you're also employing wearables to track the health of patients. Can, can you tell me a bit more about multiomics and wearables? Well, that's why we need to take care of the clients or patients with like lots of education, right? So we need to go through a little bit here and there. So in terms of multiomics, we might have heard about the genetics or genomics. Yes. That's our blueprint. It's like the books on the shelves. But we do have the shelves, we do have the librarian, we do have the coders who interpret those blueprints on the shelves to the things that we are from head to toe. So those pretty much sums up multiomics. Um, at Vital Life, like lots of times, I would just say, you must have heard the word multiverse, <laughs> thanks to some of the movies. Multi is like lots of things, right? So this is the map of lots of aspects of our body. So it's not just our genes. And what about wearables? And the, we all do have some of the wearables and lots of cases that coming in also have their own wearables. And it's not going to be the same that we ask, how is your sleep last night? How is it doing during the past month? Um, what kind of food do you eat? And we tend to, mm, yeah, I've been doing a little bit of exercise and I've been eating healthy. Wearables is going to tell us the real information. How about the sleep? How is the trend? What's the HRV? Well, those are the things that we keep track on our stress level. What's the exercise status, um, including how's your blood sugar? We do have like a continuous glucose monitoring. So exactly so what have you ate last night? What does a wearable look like? Is it like a smart watch or are there pads attached to patients? Oh, the, the word wearables is quite a large um, term, yes. like a, a really large umbrella, but that includes your smart watch, your um, maybe smart shoes, uh, continuous glucose monitoring, a little bit of like a needle attached to your arm, smart rings, there's a lot of that in the market right now and like a fierce competition. And all of that is going to be in our smartphones, right? Um, there are also some other wearables as well, like some would, might come in with the ECG monitorings, like a patch attached on their chest. But those equipments are going to send the information, or oh, include blood pressure. Those are going to send the information into our smartphones. And with Bambung Ra International uh, applications, we do have the function of My Health. So this My Health is gathering all the information from the IOTs or the IOMTs. So this is going to go into our back ends and the doctors and the health coach can monitor you every week, uh, three months or uh, whatever, we can log in any time and, and send you notifications and maybe give a little bit of discussion during the way. So it's not like a wearables is going to give us the information that we need besides from yeah see you in the next three months for blood tests that's the thing of the past already for longevity science so now we are in hand in hand in taking care of the health what trends do you see in our health and extending our health span because vital life 
Scientific Wellness Centre is really at the forefront of all this scientific development and applications. Where are we going trend-wise with our health and monitoring and extending our lifespan? We're talking about trends, so multi-omics platforms is one of the challenging trends and we do have the words phenome, so whatever that makes us us and genomes. Now the technologies including the advancement of AIs is coming really really fast so maybe in the next five or ten years we're going to be able to see the AIs ac accumulate our information as just only us our own and doing the things like digital twins so we can know like what is going to happen to us in digital but what's going to happen to us in the next two years three years, five years, and it's going to be more and more accurate. And that we can make the more, more accurate interventions to make sure that all the bad things is not going to happen, not just the risks like all of the disease or, uh, okay, you're going to gain weight pretty easily in the next five years. This is, for example, you're going to have high risk of Alzheimer's in the next 20 years and that we can, with the help of the AI too, we have more and more uh, new discoveries like more than molecules, uh, longevity molecules as we talk about, that's a lot of them coming up at the moment. So those are the things that we can interfere and to restore the health uh, the way that we want it to be. Now we are talking about extending health span. So it's not like a lifespan anymore. We want to extend the timing of uh, the, the onset of the disease as far as we possibly can. Mm -hmm. So that would be the, the, the trend. Who or what inspired you to become a doctor and specialize in this anti-aging and extension of health span? Oh, the one that inspired inspire me to become a doctor, maybe she doesn't even know about that but she is my pediatrician. So at seven years old, I fall in love with my pediatrician. So she's my doctor. Uh, I don't know why. And that is the moment that I tell my parents, I'm going to become a doctor. But the rest is like a, well, it's like a cliche story. The, the thing that awards me the most is to see that my patient is getting better and cardiology field is doing a really good job in answering that question to me. Like they come in, that's about like life and death situation, right? And whatever thing that me and of course my team has been doing, make them better just like that. So that's the thing that rewards me a lot. As time goes by, I have been doing cardiology for more than 10 years now. As time goes by, I realized that lots of knowledge in longevity science. So it's not the thing, not an equal to anti-aging, but in longevity science and neuroscience, lots of things award me even better. The thing that I thought that, okay, my patient is getting better already. Actually, they can get even better with their like health potential with some of the additional in longevity science and assessments. And that gears me towards like, yeah, I really want to know about this. I need to learn about this. So that bring like the best of our patients. Fantastic. So a healthy heart basically translates to a longer health span. Um, and we need to look after the health of our heart through monitoring, prevention, and coming along to Vitalife and using your latest scientific techniques and analysis. It's amazing what you're doing. I'm in awe of the scientific technology that you're now adapting and using to extend our life span, uh, health span. Sorry. Um, thank you so much for coming along and having a conversation with us today for trends. Keep up the trend setting in uh, longevity, health span, and cardiovascular health. And thank you for watching this latest episode of Trends. See you next Friday. Mm -hmm.